Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to scan your system for viruses free of charge. So firstly you need to go to www.trendmicro.com slash en underscore us slash for home slash products slash housecall.html It's actually quicker to just google housecall. Once you're there decide which one you require. These days it's more likely to be a 64-bit, but if you get a 32-bit operating system, then you would use that. So we'll click on Windows 64-bit. It'll ask us to download the file. So we're going to place this in our Downloads folder. Not our Documents folder, do we? Our Downloads folder. So I will save it in there. Now that's inside our Downloads folder, I'll then browse to our Downloads folder. And you can see it's downloaded House Call Launcher 64. So we'll double click that. User account control will kick in, or should kick in. There we go. So we we'll click yes to allow it to scan our system and continue running. finishes installing the program before it does this. The advantage of this is that it's always updated and it doesn't install anything on your system permanently so you don't have antivirus programs sitting down here in your task area just eating up resources because there's nothing there. Like most things when you're actually waiting on it it seems to take longer. Now that it's finished downloading and setting itself up, it asks us if we agree to the licensing terms. Well, we did try and install it or we did try and run it, so yeah, duh. And you get the option here to scan now, include my home network. Gives a little bit of information about that. So basically, it's external hard drives and such connected to your network that's going to scan. You can also click in settings and specify exactly where you want to scan you know, so your DVD drives or whatever not that you want to scan a DVD drive to be fair but it gives you that option at the moment we're just going to do a quick scan but you also have the option to do a full system scan full system scans can take hours and I don't just mean a couple of hours I literally mean two, three days constantly of doing it depending on how large your hard drive is it is insane I had one that tried to try and scan my NAS which was 20 terabytes near enough and it took forever so what we're going to do is we're going to click scan now and we'll let it scan this is probably going to take some time so I vastly suspect I'll either put a jump cut in here or I will speed it up like I usually do So as you can see, it's actually found two threats in my system, and both of these are Trojans, according to it. Now, I did deliberately infect this system with these beforehand. KM Spickle is a crack for Windows, for want of a better word. But as you can tell, if you look down at the bottom corner, my window says activate Windows in the settings. So. It wouldn't say activate windows in the settings if I actually was running a crack on it. So as you can see you've now got your actions down the side. 
and you can choose to either fix or you can choose to ignore. So obviously we want to fix this problem. So we would click fix or fix now rather and give it a moment. And what it should do is it should actually delete those files. And that took around 10 and a half minutes plus in order to run it. And this system that you can see, as you can see, it's, it's not an activated copy of Windows. It is literally just running specifically for testing and then it will get rebuilt for one or two of my tutorials. So it's constant. It's never the same setup. I'm constantly installing software on it. I'm constantly removing software from it. It's just never in any state that it's going to be used for more than 10, 20 minutes at a time. So as you can see, it said that it managed to fix one threat, but I required a restart in order to clean up the rest. So what I would then do is click restart now and let it restart. I'm not going to do that at the moment because I'm also recording this video, but that's what you should do. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback on this or any other videos, or you get suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. But most of all, thank you for watching.